Hello and welcome to the Viral Deep Dive. So with this class we will uh, teach you multiple aspects of hand tracking. But if it does a double pinch, a little sphere gets created. So we want to detect a double pinch. How to implement the locomotion system you will do with hand tracking. It's always relative to the center of, the, of your tracking space we'll use to create that curve both directly with touching it with your fingers, basically build that you can interact with it and make it fully interactive and responsive. For example, we will start with like the hand UI to use pinching gesture to expand those parts dynamically. Dot product and how it works and what kind of value you can use to detect those events. So let's have a closer look at the actual implementation. Uh, we wanted to move on the z-axis so we have to define it here when i can grab one so as you can see here when they lie on the table are fully physics based as soon as you grab them you can even throw it in and it goes directly in it's all automatic even if you hold an object now you actually can still interact with the world different kind of joints we will uh, go through them all of them and see where they can be used that piece is defective put it in the trash can boom Julia is a principal software engineer working on the HoloLens team. Karen Stolzenberg, who is lead interaction designer, and Savannah Nayas, a lead product manager at Magic Lead. Today, I'm going to talk about all of the prototyping and the work that really went behind actually shipping instinctual interactions for HoloLens 2. So we're hoping to offer really a unique perspective um, designing gesture interactions in XR today. Um, we approached uh, the design of these hand gestures and the design of these avatar hands with a really specific goal that was to enable embodied communication. Okay, so we've talked about sort of UI controls and uh, pressing things. How about moving things? Explain a little bit about how this experience really is spatialized in what feels like a really one-to-one -one way. And we can kind of get to this feeling of virtual social presence through kind of three different elements. Fabric seems to have a hard time. As soon as we remove the restrictions, all of them react quite nicely. Very interesting little creatures. So that he can go to them, grab them, and then dynamically put them back in the trash can. You have the joystick to control the position of the robotic arm, you have a trigger to activate the pincher. Let's have a look at the hologram control system. Really uh, like fine control of the robot dynamically. I can move down the robotic arm. Welcome to the graduation ceremony of XR Bootcamp's uh, viral hand tracking program. Cannot be more excited to like have the final ceremony of the viral bootcamp. Uh, we really enjoyed it and we were especially happy when we got the feedback from you that you really enjoyed. I'm incredibly proud of how it all turned out and, and how I've managed to do. The possibilities are endless and with hand tracking with Quest, that is going to be a key feature to really help our clients in benefiting them in the real world. Um, keep in mind, a lot of our clients, they're not technical. They are at their day-to-day -day jobs, at their work environments, and they've never have the time, they've never touched this technology before. So if we can really develop and come up with something amazing to help them without these controllers anymore, uh, I know they'll be thrilled and we'll be so happy for them. The content is extremely professional. It's very clear to understand and it works up in steps over time so that it's easy to go from one level to the next and you don't really feel like you're getting lost in between. And then if you are struggling in any of those places, there's plenty of support from the mentors and the instructors to be able to catch you up if needed. I joined because I have had a huge interest in hand tracking and I know it's exactly the future. Um, I knew this technology would also benefit our clients as well in the future. So I'm just trying to get a head start on this technology to benefit our clients coming up. So thank you guys for attending this class and we wish you all well for the future. <laughs>